player trails and grass trampling. You'll notice one of the coolest features is the ability to leave grass and mud trails behind your player or any other object. If you want to add these effects to your foliage, landscapes and characters, this video is for you. First, let's make your custom grass rotate out from your player. Here's how. Open your player blueprint. Add BP underscore player grass displacement to your character. The Z height doesn't matter, just center it in the X and Y coordinates. This blueprint reads your character's position into a material parameter collection that you can then use in your grass material. Your player will now be rotating out any grasses from our Ethereum Designs assets. Feel free to skip ahead to the next section of this video to immediately get grass and landscape trails working with your character. Otherwise, continue watching and I'll show you how to apply the effect to your own custom materials. Open M underscore long grass and copy the necessary nodes. Open your own grass material and paste the copied nodes. Add these nodes to your well position offset. Your grass should now rotate out from the player. You can adjust the variables to change the intensity of rotation and the radius of its effect. Now, let's learn how to add trails to your grass or landscape. Add BP underscore grass trail capture to your level and position it at the world origin roughly 2,000 units below your landscape. Next, ensure that your landscape material is two-sided. For every object that you do not want affecting our trail system, you'll need to ensure that Hidden in Seam Capture is checked in the Details panel. Please do this for any objects that may block the seam capture. This may include, but not be limited to, static meshes, sky domes, clouds, water mesh actors, water zones, and many more. The only object types that must never be hidden in the seam capture are landscapes and water bodies. If you ever have issues with grass trails appearing in some areas but not others, it's likely because an object isn't hidden in the scene capture and is interfering with the system. So always come back to this step if you encounter any issues. Next, you'll need to enable custom depth for any character meshes or static meshes you want affecting the trails. So go ahead and open up your player blueprint, select the skeletal mesh, and in the details panel, check Render Custom Depth Pass. Do the same for any other static meshes or skeletal meshes that you want to affect the grass trails, regardless of whether they are inside blueprints or just placed in your level. If your level doesn't have any water bodies in it, the grass trails should not be functioning correctly with any of our assets from Ethereum Designs. But if you plan on using Unreal's water plugin, there are some important steps you'll need to follow in order to get your trails working. Unreal Engine's underwater post-processing overrides the scene capture which we need for our grass trails. This stops our trail system from working. To fix this, add BP underscore grass trail water body helper to your level. Next, if you have a custom underwater post-processing material, open it up and add MF underscore Ethereum water PP toggle to the end of your material notes. If you follow these steps correctly, your grass trails will now work with the water plugin. By default, our Ethereum Designs materials and environments already have these fixes applied, so you'll only need to do this with your own custom levels and materials. Now, if you'd like to apply trails to your own custom grasses, you might want to copy and apply these nodes from the M underscore long grass material to your custom grass material.
Add the glow notes to your material's glow multiplier and also add the trample notes to your well position offset. You'll notice that the core function that is used here is MF underscore grass trail. This material function outputs the animated grass trail effect as a black and white texture. You can use this function to lerp between values or textures to create various effects. The long grass material uses it to create a glow effect and also tramples down the mesh with a vertex offset function. You might also notice that this material function has a radiating ball with a few adjustable variables. Feel free to play around with these variables to create a number of interesting effects. If you want to apply a trail effect to your landscape, please take a look at m underscore landscape underscore muddy for a great reference in how to customize your own landscape materials. This material utilizes normal maps, parallaxing, and will position offset to create a very useful mud trail effect. If done correctly, you should now have your player making shitloads of trails all over your environment.